This November, Mississippi voters could vote on a controversial measure that would change state abortion laws. A group pushing for the personhood amendment has already collected enough signatures to get it on the ballot. Now they say their opponents are trying to skew their agenda. David Kenny joins us now to explain. David. Well, this is another battle in the struggle between pro-life and pro-choice groups they've never seen eye to eye. Now one says lies and half-truths are being spread about the measure they're trying to put on that November ballot. Will personhood end abortion in Mississippi? Yes. But how much further would the Proposition 26 law go? Doctors from River Oaks Hospital standing behind the measure say it would protect children even in unwanted births. Personhood will protect the innocent baby conceived through rape or incest from being executed for the crime. Opponents of the measure say it goes too far and puts pregnant women at risk. If a woman is sick uh, with cancer or some other problem and she's pregnant, it could put them in a position of not being able to get life-saving medical care. We think it's wrong. Personhood Amendment supporters say they think that's wrong too because it's not true. In its current form, Proposition 26 would not outlaw contraceptives and in vitro fertilization or prosecute well, women who suffer miscarriages. Oh, I think it's just deceptive lies. It doesn't hurt us, but we have to get the word out that this is just a plan by the Planned Parenthood and ACLU communities to try to take this election from Mississippi. The measure would make abortions illegal, which is what's at the heart of this debate, an issue Mississippians could weigh in on as they cast their votes in November. Hooray for a child that makes it through If there's any way because The answer lies in you They lay to rest before They've known just what to do, their souls are lost.